Hi guys, let's warm me here. If you've watched my video last week, I was talking about my new hobby, you know, growing air plants. So right now I'm gonna answer the question of how do you water air plants? A lot of people may think that air plants are very low maintenance to the extent that you can just leave them displayed wherever you want and they will just thrive by taking in nutrients from the air. Well, not really. There's more to that than you think. The name might be a bit misleading. Air plants derive nutrients from everything but soil. And by everything, that means moisture from the air, a little fertilizer, and of course, water. The best is to water them like any ordinary plant. I have? No. Air plants do need water to live, but not as much as other plants. Watering them may be a bit tricky, but it's, believe me, it's not at all that complicated. You can water your plants by misting, soaking, or dipping. Sometimes watering would depend on the species. Tilanchias with thin, needle-like leaves such as Tilanchia fuchsiae gracilis would need more frequent watering compared to those with wider leaves such as Tilanchia serographica. It's ideal to use rain or pond water for your air plants. They will love that. Tap water is also okay, you can filter it, but never use distilled water because it does not contain natural minerals and the nutrients needed by your air plants. Before you go on giving your air plants a bath, you should also take into consideration the temperature of your home or the climate in your area. In a cold climate, you should water your tilanchas a bit less. In drier or hotter climate, you need to water or mist them more frequently. Even during winter, when your tilancha are located in an area near a fireplace or a heater, misting them two to three times a week would still be necessary. You know, not too much as to have water trickle down your, your air plants, but just enough to give them a bit of moisture, if you know what I mean. So personally, I combine both soaking and misting methods in watering my tilanchas. So I soak them in water for 30 minutes to an hour once, once every week in a cold climate, and you know, it's cold and two to three hours once a week during summer season or early fall. So then I miss them like uh, two times a week or when necessary, you know, in between the soaking. How would you know if your air plants need water? Most air plants have stiff leaves and you can easily notice that after watering them. In the contrary, when they are needing water, their leaves may become soft and their color a bit lighter. So when you start to notice that uh, the leaves are already a bit brown and crispy or wrinkled or rolled, okay, so then guys, your air plants are dehydrated and needs immediate bathing. Honestly, I'm not an expert and I'm only sharing to you what I have experienced and you know what I mostly learned from experience. Trust me when I say I learned these things in the heartbreaking way. And unfortunately killed a few of my tilanchas in the process. Sometimes taking care of them is just a matter of instinct. You know, if your airplanes seem to look like they're thirsty, then maybe they just need misting. Just make sure to gently shake out excess water from the leaves and the base um, every after bath or shower. Uh, place them upside down on a towel or anything that can absorb the excess water to dry them out in about four hours. Setting them in an area with good air circulation helps too. If your air plants stay wet longer, it may rot. It is reversible and it would cause your air plant to die. Sad. How can you water air plants that are mounted? Just remember to keep whatever your air plants are mounted to out of the water. 
then hold your air plants under the faucet, under tepid, tepid, either tepid water for several minutes. So don't let your air plants sit too long on wet driftwood or terrarium or whatever you mounted your air plants to or mounted your air plants on because this may cause rot. Okay, so rot is like the biggest enemy of air plants. You know, it, it can kill them. Don't soak your air plants in cold water. They hate it. Use tepid water instead. You can also use aquarium water. Your air plants can soak up more nutrients from it. If your air plant is in bloom, avoid wetting its flowers for them to last longer. Water your plants in the morning. Doing it in the evening would only extend drying time. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope that I was able to help you and answer your questions on how to water your air plant. For those of you who have questions about air plants and further questions on how to take care of them, please include it in the comments as well. And I'll see you on the next video.